how uh, we can bring uh, a Revit project into FreeCAD. But what about the other way around? Um, so I'm about to do a little demonstration. Uh, so this is the small little tutorial uh, project that I've been using and I'm going to try to bring all of you know this into FreeCAD so what you have to do in uh, in uh, FreeCAD or unlike Revit where you don't need to select it in FreeCAD you have to select uh, what you want to export so for example I'm going to have to select uh, my first house and uh, second house component uh, so I have to open the folder and select everything inside that folder um, whenever it is going to be a folder I'll have to open that folder and select everything inside that folder like this um, okay no more folders there let's see the folder itself does not necessarily matter in terms of whether or not it should be selected so select everything here everything here and I'm also selecting this this uh, lines because I want to see uh, if they're gonna be picked, if they're gonna be picked up also okay so that's good enough for what we're trying to do so now file export and I'm going to select IFC and simply uh, rename that project to like this okay so I have my project too so now I'm gonna but this is Revit so what I'm going to do with Revit is that I'm going to come here and say open IFC open as IFC and I'm just going to select um, the file itself project 2 and then open it okay so as you can see uh, the first type of modeling where I had um, you know we we're in the basic floor plan the first type of modeling where they were basically extrusion it does open very well so simple straightforward modeling in free in Revit let's uh, annotate view and turn off the thin line so simple uh, wireframe modeling with simple extrusion in in in, uh, in FreeCAD works so smoothly uh, when transferring as as well. And if you remember uh, this grid as well, it it literally and so you know you can actually dimension these things uh, like this. okay 10 maybe 20 okay so you know so you can do further uh, annotation work in in uh, in Revit if necessary uh, it's very clean so let's look at the other project so this one um, we used uh, the wall tool and we tried to use some of the parametric uh, objects as well so let's see how it did import uh, the, the way it imported things things are independent so I can easily select them grab them and just easily snap them into position directly in in Revit so everything is very clean um, so let's go to the 3d as well take a look at the 3d okay 
differentiated so the 3d as well seems to be highly consistent um, as you can see the doors are there uh, everything is well represented let's try the realistic shader um, consistent shader and so at this point uh, I can edit if I say edit uh, this object I get into the single assembly of family of this object where I can now um, you know change the material uh, hold on so it's uh, I have to do a partial partial explode I guess okay okay yes that's what I have to do and then material I can now provide it with uh, let's say any given um, let's see as for shingles okay what happened something like that okay all right Let's see. Um, so yeah, you can you can uh, basically uh, play with this like this. Um, now, as you can see, you have the ability to modify some aspects of uh, of the of you know. Of the object maybe not this one it's a, it's a, it's a bit complex but what about this one let's see um, okay so this is interesting because this is a column and it imported that as a structure where Revit understands this as a structure because they use a structure tool here uh, they understand each other very well so it has the ability to attach to some of the object if I wanted to likewise I, I use a slab as a structure so Revit understands that as a structure because but this was an, a simple extrusion so let me uh, hide this hide element uh, this was a wall I think um, it's not giving me more information let me um, actually let me edit that so like that um okay so this is just a solid so but you know i still have some degree of ability to manipulate the you know those shapes in in revit if i wanted to so uh it's, this is extremely interesting you know the fact that it still allows you to to retain some degree of flexibility so let me hide this hide element so that was a structure um, so of course with the structure um, I can control let's see edit um, preview Well, I can edit the height and the top of set. So let's say uh, top of set. Let's go to five. You see, let's go to eight, four, four maybe. Okay. So that's how it works. Um, or I can easily, once again, come and edit that. But it's going to take me into the the structure family with which is not what I want to do close that no okay so let me hide this as well actually delete that hide element okay so likewise with all of these remaining objects 
um, it's the same story I can always come back here and and modify them at will and change the material and do whatever I want to so that's nice and great um, so that that was my column here and it has the ability to attach the wall base or anything like that so oh no I did that again so so it understands the column as a family that's interesting to note so some of these uh, family structure what about you import symbol this is a roof okay base of set so uh, just some generic uh, options there uh, to play with but it's good to know that at this point um, all you need to do is you know if you wanted uh, to let's say I wanted to reconstruct this in Revit um, this would be very very simple um, you would simply grab your wall tool Uh, you wanna face face exterior, finish exterior, okay, and that's all you do. Boom, 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 like this. So that's the Revit and then you can basically build on top of that, put your windows and your doors where they have to go and it's so easy to manipulate this at this point once you have something to work on. So I'm thinking that um, I'm, I'm still trying to decide whether or not it's worth it to, to show a demonstration of a tutorial along those lines but I will think upon that. But that's how you get a, a simple project into Revit. It's fairly straightforward. Um, so this should be able to facilitate um, workflows and streamline from one application into the other just to know that you have this kind of confidence that things are going to work uh, fairly easily. Uh, and to show you that uh, again, let's see, this Revit understood that as. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Can I put a window here? Okay. So, yeah. So, even though this is, you know, I can still put a window where I want to. Uh, I can put a door where I want to. Everything is just so smooth. So smooth. <laughs> so smooth. Level one. You know, so I, I can just... I can just put doors where I want to whenever. So. So that's about it for now, uh, I guess I'll see you into the next video.